Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I thought I'd do something a little different. So I've mentioned this on the channel before, but my day job is actually as a product marketing manager for a games company. The company's called Slug Disco. Uh, we're a very small company. But today I thought I'd do a kind of different style of video and show a day in the life of what a product marketing manager actually is. So like what I do on a day. But before we get started with the video, I just want to tidy my office because it's a bit of a mess. Um, I've been very busy this week, so it's just kind of got messy around me. Uh, I want to tidy it up, start fresh to just kind of have a nice space to work in to finish kind of the last part of my week. So let's just tidy the office. Okay, so that was the quickest. Oh, I'm not in focus. So that was the quickest I think I've ever tidied. Uh, I hope you'll agree that the office is a lot tidier now. Just don't look at the cable mess. I really need to f sort that out. Um, okay, so the first thing I need to do, ooh, that's bright, uh, is I've got like a few post-it notes with just like scribbles on. I'm gonna organize that into a proper list. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do today. Okay, so my list seems small when I write it down, but there's a lot of involved things on there. So I need to book an event in Yorkshire, which I'm going to. I'll go to Game Talks uh, next week, actually. So I'm gonna book in my tickets to go to that. So uh, I need to do that. I need to replace the thumbnails on our press kit. So the press kit for Adapt, uh, the way it's set up is we've got our, there's a lot of thumbnails which make the page load a lot quicker and they link to quite high resolution screenshots. Now, because I was having to get the press kit ready very quickly, um, I didn't have time to go through and really optimize all of those thumbnails. So the page does load a bit slow. So I just want to reduce them. And then kind of tied to that, uh, the Steam page is currently loading a little bit slowly as well. Um, Paul, the developer of Adapt, he kind of researched it a little bit and saw that, uh, you know, our screenshots on the Adapt Steam page are a lot higher, a lot more higher resolution than like our competitors. So um, I think it might be a case that I can just swap them with the thumbnails I'm going to make for the press kit. Or I might need to just readjust the sizes slightly. And then the big hashtag that we do every week for our games is uh, Screenshot Saturday. Screenshot Saturday is just a hashtag. I've done a video on it before, um, and like Wishlist Wednesday, they're two big kind of hashtags we can use when marketing indie games. So every week we do a post for that. So I just need to plan them out for ecosystem and adapt. Our community manager, Mike, he manages the uh, Empires and Undergrowth screenshot Saturday. So that's fine. So yeah, just adapt and ecosystem for that one. So yeah, that's how my day is looking. It doesn't sound like a lot when I say it out. Oh, actually, you know, one more thing that I need to do by the end of the day is we have a battle arena in Empires and Undergrowth where you can Aside from the main game, you can pit the different creatures and different bugs from within the game to fight against each other in kind of like an auto battler. We had quite an interesting um, idea to kind of make some TikTok content surrounding that for the Empires channel. We've had a lot of success on the Adapt TikTok and we're going to try and start replicating that on our other channels now. Now we've got a feeling for kind of what works and what doesn't when using TikTok. So yeah, that is something I'll be doing later on in the day as well. But for now, I'm just going to get straight into doing this work. Now here's the press kit and it's nice and responsive. We've got all of our lovely artwork and screenshots and even these custom emojis um, and our logos and everything. So that's, that's job done. I can tick that off my list. So with that done, I can now use the same screenshots, luckily, uh, on the Steam backend because I've turned them into 1280 by 720 images which is more than enough for the screenshot viewer on Steam. Because a lot of people will just click through, you know, in the carousel. Now if I go back over to the store page and reload this, uh, not much will change anyway, because these images were in my cache. But here's the smaller versions of the screenshots and they'll hopefully load a lot quicker now. So that's another thing that checks off the list. Uh, I did them early on because I knew they wouldn't take as long. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is work on gathering some footage for Screenshot Saturday. And then in the afternoon, I'm going to focus on making the TikTok content for Empires of the Undergrowth. So I'll check in again in a bit. So one of the big marketing beats is Steam Next Fest, which is a festival celebrating upcoming games that are coming out in 2022. And usually this is a really good place for people to try demos for the first time. Now our demo has been out 
consistently for a while, so that's fine. We don't need to do anything there. And we'd like to get more people to play the demo, obviously. And the ultimate goal is wish lists, which the ultimate goal from them would be sales. So that's what I think I'm going to focus on in my screenshot Saturday posts for Adapt this week. I'm going to do a bit of a creature time lapse with just a call to action kind of video, pointing people to the Steam page. And then I can reuse some of the stuff for the following week's Screenshot Saturday when the Steam Next Fest actually goes live. So I'm just going to get to work on that. So I've edited the video that I'm going to do for Screenshot Saturday. Uh, I need to put some graphics over the top of it, but I've kind of cut it down to what I want to do. Um, and we've been quite lucky with Adapt because we've figured out kind of what works, what what people, what the people want with Adapt. And what the people want is to see like a really pathetic blob turn into something really interesting. So uh, I'll just play you what I've got so far, and then. Um, I'll finish up the editing and then I can get it scheduled for Saturday. And I'll probably post it to TikTok today because engagement on the weekends on TikTok uh, isn't as great, I've kind of noticed. So yeah, let's just take a look at what I've got so far. Okay, so I've done that video now, I exported it and scheduled it on Twitter for to go out tomorrow. Um, so now I'm just going to make a TikTok version of it. Uh, TikTok is portrait, not landscape, so I need to kind of rejig it and tweak it. One kind of uh, good tip that I can offer for TikTok is you can feel free to use the landscape version, but when you do, it creates, um, there's a lot of like black space room either side of it like above or below so what i've been doing is i've been putting the full 16 by 9 landscape version in the kind of like bottom half of the frame and then i've been cropping in to like the center of the image to kind of like where the action is in the top half so people get kind of the close-up look but they can have the full context of what the ui and everything like that is looking like so um i'll just show you what i mean by that So as you can see, we can get quite close up to the creature, but then still show the context of what the UI looks like. That's how I've been doing it. It seems to be working quite well so far. So I don't feel like I need to change anything with that. Um, and yeah, it's this kind of good benefit there. And then I've always found that, you know, when you want to put some text over it, um, you can kind of put that on the border between the zoomed in version and the 16.9 version. And yeah, it fits really well. It looks good. Um, so I'm just going to kind of finish up tweaking that to make sure it's the kind of like everything's positioned the best it can be. And then I'm going to export that out and we can post it on TikTok. Okay, so now that's done, it's time for a little bit of lunch. And then I, I'm probably going to go out for a quick walk just to get a bit of fresh air, stretch my legs, get the blood pumping before I carry on with some more content creation for Empires of the Undergrowth in the afternoon. So I'll check back in later. Okay, so it turns out it's really bloody cold outside. So I'm not looking the coolest. Got my, my, my fingerless gloves on. Um, but yeah, this is my little walk that I try and do uh, most days. Uh, it's just a few minutes away from my house in the car. So I live right by an estuary, so the tide's out at the minute. Um, this is the river kind of bed. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very cold. Um, but it's really peaceful around here. I can kind of hear the A road in the distance, but you know, you've got the sheep 
barring and some cows mooing every now and again. Sometimes horses in the fields. It's uh, just a bit different in it than getting just staring at my screen all day. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'm just gonna finish up the walk and then it'll be straight back into it. Okay, so this ended up way too muddy and impassable. There's no point in me carrying on. My shoes are already filthy, but I don't want to get my feet wet. It's a bit annoying, but you know, it's kind of the risk you take. <sighs> right, let's get back to it. Okay, so just before I get started with the Empires of the Undergrowth stuff, I just checked the TikTok I shared about an hour ago, and it's already on 3,000 views. So I'm quite quite happy with that. Uh, see, where my fingers tap in. Uh, we've had quite a lot of questions come in as well. Uh, I was asking people to drop questions below for the stream that we're going to be doing when Next Fest goes live, and we've got quite a lot of response already. So, success. Okay, so I'm just downloading uh, Adobe Audition. Um, I reformatted my computer the other day, and I've just still not got all my apps because um, I've got this video. Uh, that I've been making. I'm not 100% happy with the footage. I'm, I may re-record the footage. I'm not sure yet. Uh, but it's kind of to do with that battle arena in Empire's Undergrowth. And I found some voices online that say like "fight" and "wasted," but I, I want like a, a versus. I want an announcer saying "versus," and I can't find that. So I'm gonna give it a go. See if I can do it myself. Use some effects to make my voice sound a bit cooler. Uh, my northern drawl, my northern English drawl, does not scream like fighting announcer so I need to see if I can tweak it but this is what I've got so far So yeah, not the best, but it's my first time doing this style of video for Empires. I did want to set it on a different map that I'd made that was above ground. It was a bit lighter, a bit more interesting to look at. But for some reason, I've lost that file, um, so I couldn't I couldn't do it in editor. So I'm just playing the kind of like live version of the game to get that footage. Um, but the current battle arena underground is very dark. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. It just needs a few more tweaks and then it'll be time to upload that to TikTok. Praying Mantis. Praying Mantis. Versus. 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 Spiny Devil Cricket. Spiny Devil Cricket. Spiny Devil Cricket. Mantis versus Spiny Devil Cricket. Fight! Wasted. Oh, my hair's gone a bit weird. Um, so I just shared that bit of footage with my work chat uh, and my boss Liam said, had this to say It's everything I imagined it would be and more We were talking about a show called Monster Bug Wars which is very American They kind of pretend that these bugs have met out in nature but they've clearly put them together like those bugs should never have met in the wild and they've kind of forced them together to make them fight It's essentially bug dog fighting but we wanted to kind of like mock that slightly, like parody it for these types of videos. Um, this was just a test. I'll see if I can get some more stuff sort of implemented into the engine uh, to kind of, you know, have a few finer controls on getting the footage. I think it'll be a bit, a bit better. But as a test, I think we will post that to TikTok and just see how that does over the next kind of couple of days and see whether it's um, 
worth doing another one, worth putting more time into it. Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of rounding out my day now. Uh, any second now, I'll be getting a message from my fiance asking me to go pick her up. But yeah, thanks for watching. I know it was a bit different, but you know, maybe you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comments below. And in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.